Hey there, my friends. Welcome back to the Indymation conversation. We were just conversating right now, uh, Corey and I. Uh, oh, what's your name, by the way? Cor Corey what? Corey Kerr. And you do what? I do indie animation for the oh. nation. That's so funny, Corey, because I happen to do the same thing that you do. Exactly. I, I bet we do it in different ways. I bet so. And I bet a lot of people are wondering, how the hell do you animate your cartoons, Jim? Well, this is it. Finally, after years of people asking me, how do I animate my crappy little cartoons? I'm going to show you for free here today. If you And you don't even need a coupon code. But, uh, <laughs> I'm glad to share my method with you guys. Um, I'll tell you a couple quick things about it. Um, a long time ago, I used to call it uh, ghettomation, my style, because it was kind of like just slapped together with duct tape and everything. But then I realized that was a horrible, horrible title. So I, I stopped calling it that. And um, what I use now today, I like to refer to as the Freak Daddy method because my cartoon Freak Daddy is the first cartoon I used my current method that I still use to today on it. And um, it's it consists of a lot of reusing artwork, uh, repurposing things, changing things up slightly. But um, so I don't draw every single frame or every single shot from scratch. I'll reuse certain things, but there is a lot of, of uh, new art in it everywhere scattered. You'll see, you'll see, you'll watch it and you'll enjoy it. And then you'll want to make your own cartoons. If that guy can do it, you can do I, it too. I was at a, I was at a conference. I was at Adobe max, I think. And uh, Mike Roush from tip mouse was there. And he said, he said, uh, animation is about reuse, reuse, reuse. And so he was showing like a little short that he did and how he was like, see, I made the legs of the fly like this because they worked from profile and three quarter and front. And so I just had to make one leg and then repeat it six times. And then I didn't have to do anything else. Like, yes, yeah. it's like recyclamation. There you go. There's there you your go. New, there's Hasht your new, uh, hashtag trademark copyright. Um, circle, circle C. So we hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and we will answer them. And uh, let's all enjoy Jim Lujan's animation process right here for you on Indymation Conversation. See you. What the heck are we looking at here? Boy, it's messy, um, but it looks kind of cool. This is my process. This is the map, the road map that uh, I use to uh, create my cartoons, AKA the Freak Daddy method, because my cartoon Freak Daddy was the first cartoon where I fully implemented this. Dance, I say, dance. Once in a while, I'll skip a step or two here, but not always. Let's start with an idea. Probably your most important part of the entire film, uh, if you want the film to come out good and people to enjoy it. Um, I'm big on entertaining an audience because I don't want them to uh, beat me up in the parking lot or key my car. Yeah, first I'm gonna take you to Sizzler, then we're gonna head on over to that motel you like. Yeah, the cute little one with the jacuzzi. That's not a jacuzzi, that's a bathtub. So the next step is, uh, once they have an idea, is the outline. I like to kind of just do a really rough outline on my, um, on my films. I like to say, okay, this happens, then there's this scene, then there's this thing, scene. Um, so character design. This is done really early on. In fact, sometimes this step is done over here. Whoops, not there. Here. Sometimes I'll design a character um, or characters before I really have an idea. Sometimes the idea comes out from a character design. I'll, I'll draw a character and go, oh my gosh, this guy or this gal, gal, looks like they would be in this type of a story. And then I will come up with a story from there. So that's um, a big, huge part of everything. 
All right, so once you got your idea, once you know kind of where the story's going to go, once you know who your stars are in the story, then this can come into play. Storyboard and or thumbnails. You know, you could do a thumbnail and then do a little more advanced storyboard. I've tried that. Um, I've done movies where it's just from thumbnails, no storyboards, just from little quick, really rough sketches. I use the thumbnails as storyboards. In fact, that happens quite a bit. Sometimes I'll storyboard a movie and, and just throw away the storyboard and go off into a, a different area because it seems to be working better. I just want to say that you the best friend I've ever done had. And I'm, I'm honored to win the championship, which was my dream with my best friend. I'm also going to say within this stage here, I should have put it, but I didn't. Create art is also hand in hand with the audio, recording the voices, uh, recording, you know, getting your audio files all lined up. Um, I right now create my artwork in Procreate uh, digitally. Um, I've been doing that for about three of my films. Normally what I would do is I would sketch my drawings in a sketchbook. I've got tons of sketchbooks and within those sketchbooks there's lots of background characters that I would use and, and move those around a little bit and there's there's plenty of backgrounds. I love drawing backgrounds in my sketchbooks and um, there's, there was lots of character design in there. And so I've got tons, I've got tons and tons of old sketchbooks that I kept um, so some billionaire can buy them from me one day. Once you create your art, I um, export the art as a Photoshop document onto my computer. I use a MacBook Pro. Uh, my MacBook is probably, oh, I don't know, 60 or 70 years old. It's pretty old, but it's good, it, and it functions, and I love it. So I'm still happy with it. It's like a Honda. It lasts forever if you take care of it. This is Flash CS3. It's about 200 years old and I love it. It's a very simple animating program. This right here is an imported document. That Here's the library. See, if you see up here, there's different elements that are imported into the library. I imported them from Photoshop into the library. Right here is an audio track. And I laid down the audio track right here and I basically animate to it. I put the background, as you'll see, if I, uh, these are different layers of flash. So this isn't really a flash tutorial, but this is how I use it. Of course, there's, you can hide the background. There's a background and there's this layer. Um, his eyes are on, a, on a, their own layer here. So I can move them around and such. Da, da, you know, it's fun, good fun. So I just basically animate in flash. None, none of this was created in flash. It was all created um, on the iPad and then imported into Photoshop on my computer, and then from my computer, it's already here. Flash is on my computer. I just import it into the library and move things around. If you see the timeline here, this is how it works. You can see it open and closing. Uh, here's an O right here. Or, uh, I, uh, I basically create two mouths, A, A and O. See, so you can see it up here, A and O. Anyways, this is how I, so what I do is I do one shot at a time and then I export it and edit it together all in iMovie. Here's my settings. I'm working at 1920 by 1080. This is a lie because I use 16 frames per second. I forgot to adjust that. Export movie as a quick time and here's all my movies. All right, this is my, oh, by the way, Giorgio says hi, George. But, uh, this is my Lars Lazarus folder. Within this, I have different scenes. These are actual scenes in the movie. Each one of these folders has the artwork and the audio from each of the scenes. You know, this has the blanks here. Everything's on a different layer. Got a hand here. This is why I draw hands so separate, so I can move them around. Blah, 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 blah. You can pick his nose. That's really cool. All right, so um, anyways, that's what we got there. This is one scene, this is one shot, I'm sorry. So that shot is a QuickTime file, movie file, and I'll edit that in iMovie. And once I'm in iMovie, 
that's where the magic happens. So, there you go. Thank you guys, and uh, make cartoons. <laughs>